Mark chapter four, verses thirty-five to forty-one. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, "Let us cross over to the other side." Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. As they awoke him and said to him, "Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing?" When he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, "Peace, be still," and the wind ceased, and there was great calm. But he said to them, "Why are you so fearful? How is that you have no faith?" And they feared exceedingly. And said to one another, "Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him?" Throughout the day, Jesus used parables to explain what the kingdom of heaven was like. The multitude still needed Jesus' help, but for some reason, Jesus told his disciples to cross over to the other side of the lake. The boat was ready, and they set off. Furious squirrels sometimes arise on the lake of Galilee, and there was one that evening. Tall waves, though not as big as those on the ocean, were strong enough to swamp the little fishing boat. Yet Jesus was still sleeping in the stern. Even though they were with Jesus, danger came upon the disciples. In fact, it was Jesus Himself who had initiated the trip. They tried to bail the water out of the boat, but the situation was quickly getting out of control. In fear and desperation, they walked Jesus up. Getting to His feet, Jesus rebuked the wind and waves, and nature obeyed. There was. Dead silence. Turning to his disciples, he rebuked them as well for being afraid and for having no faith. After witnessing what Jesus had done, their fear turned to reverence. Storms can arise in the lives of faithful believers. It is vital that we have the wisdom to deal with them. First. We must remember that furious squirrels can come upon us at any time in our lives. When one arrives, don't try to figure out why it happened. When we do that, it's harder to cope with it. Second, we must not be afraid. The disciples are almost drowned, but Jesus rebuked their fear. When we are afraid. We do things we aren't supposed to do. We break God's commandments. Third, we must do what we can to do deal with the situation, while we wait for Jesus to act in His time. I used to think that the disciples should have woken Jesus up at the first sign of danger, but now I see things a little differently. Even though Jesus was sleeping. He was ready to act when it was necessary. All the disciples needed to do was to keep bailing the water out of the boat without fear. While though it would sound weird, they could sleep, following the example of Jesus. Lastly, faith must be the foundation of everything else. What kind of faith am I talking about? It is a faith that, no matter what happens, believes the current situation is the best thing for us from an eternal perspective. Even if it means death, even if we are never able to understand why, even when we don't want to understand, faith helps us believe that Jesus is in control. What kind of squirrel? 
has arisen in your life? Is Jesus in the middle of the storm with you? May God bless us with a faith that can never be shaken, faith that enables us to fearlessly wait for His time through whatever squares we face in our lives. Thank you.